Greetings, glorious vampires and tasty humans. Uh, this is Ken Suaga here with Coated Cardboard, and I'm going to give you a little spin around with you know, Vampires the Masquerade Chapters Tabletop Simulator Mod. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to kind of just cover how the mod works and how to get started uh, playing. Uh, but before I do that, real quick, I just wanted to cover what is Tabletop Simulator, uh, also known as TTS. Uh, so you'll need to purchase this software from the Steam platform. Uh, typically it's a $20 purchase and it's a one-time fee only. So once you've purchased that, you'll need to download and install. Once that's done, uh, you'll need to go to the Vampires and Masquerade Chapters workshop page, which there will be a link in the description. And there's a subscribe button. You click on that and subscribe and you'll be able to play this for free. And there's also thousands of other mods out there too that you can subscribe to and play for free. Uh, there are a few DLCs that are paid for, uh, but Tabletop Simulator is a great way to try out games to see if you like them and also connect with your friends around the world if they're not able to make it to your house and to your table. So let's get moving on now here to uh, the, the mod and, and how this is going to work for you. Uh, so once you get loaded in, uh, this is a, just a short little teaser, a little taste of what's coming with chapters, uh, and we're going to be doing the prologue here. Uh, and so you'll want to... Uh, scroll down to here and start here with reading. Uh, another quick way to read to, if you don't want to just zoom in like this, which is how I kind of like to prefer it, you can hold down Alt uh, and it will make whatever you mouse over full screen. So if you wanted to look at this here, just mouse over, hit full screen. Uh, and there's this is also two sided, so once you've completed it, you flip it over and you can uh, read what it is. And you hit F as in Frank uh, to flip that over. So yeah, you'll read through this, uh, and it's going to tell you down here, your action, once you get to that, to reveal card E.1, which is right over here. This is the event deck. And so you'll uh, quickly just drag and drop, or drag and pull from there. If you just uh, click and hold, it's going to pick up the whole deck, which is what you don't want to do. So just kind of real quick, just a click and drag, F to flip, and then you'll just read through the content here. Again, if you hold down Alt when you mouse over, it'll make it big so it's easier to read. And in this card here, you get two options. Um, you can grab the knife or do the straightforward attack. So depending on what you choose, is the next card you're going to flip over. So let's say we grab the knife. It's simply, you just click and drag, flip it over, and carry on with what it says. If you wanted to do the straightforward attack, it says to do card E.5. Uh, so to get to that quickly, instead of having to pull through everything, you can right click, Go to search, and it's going to be upside down. Unfortunately, it's just how the deck laid out. And you can see there's E.5. So you just click that, drag it out, drop it on there. We'll close that, flip it over, and then you'll just carry on and read through that. And so you'll just follow through the event deck, and that's going to teach you how to play the game. Uh, you're not going to need to know anything else uh, when you start this. Uh, all the rules and all that stuff that you need to know uh, will be written in there. So to show you real quick too how, how I like to roll the dice is uh, using a box select. Uh, you just drag over how many dice you need if you need five or just three or two. Uh, so box select them and you jam on R a bunch of times, R for random, and that will flip them for you. <laughs> and that was a bad roll. Uh, so uh, another thing you want to watch out too, so if you're rolling uh, and you go to click it and move it and you click it real short like that, uh, it could mess things up. So what I like to do is you click on it a bunch of times and then click on the table before they hit the table. Uh, and now they're free and clear of uh, any accidental changes that may occur. Now you do have a character sheet here that you'll want to reference uh, when it says so in the in the rule or in the uh, event deck. There. Here is your health and willpower uh, counters. So. These little blocks here, you just click and drag them down. So you start with five health and four on the willpower. Now you don't need to worry about hunger in the in the prologue. Here's your enemy. Uh, his life is starting here, and we'll take down as you fight him. And he does have a deck of, of actions here. And to shuffle that, you just mouse over like this, and you hit R a bunch of times. You also have a deck down here. Uh, and the event cards will kind of explain what you'll need to do with those. Uh, and when it comes down to the time to shuffle those, uh, you can shuffle those. There are a few cards that you're going to have to remove, depending on some of the choices you make. And then here is a special item card. 
uh, in the event deck, it's going to tell you when you get to look at this if um, you choose that path. You may not choose it and you may not get it. Uh, so when you do, it will tell you to get item uh, number seven. Uh, so go ahead and flip that and reveal that and then you'll get that item. And then here's your character here. Uh, this is, represents your character and you'll just move that according to uh, what the event card says and here's your enemy and that's pretty much it it's very straightforward uh, just a quick way to introduce you uh, to the game uh, and as you proceed deeper into uh, more of the game they're going to teach you more and more things and you'll get access to more and more skills and things like that so uh, I'm really excited about it and just want to quickly thank White Wolf and uh, Fios Games for letting me make this mod for you guys uh, and be able to share it with you. Uh, there is a Facebook group, so if you want to know more uh, about chapters uh, and want to talk with people, I would recommend joining this group. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description. And also looking forward to the Kickstarter that's coming in quarter one of 2020, uh, which we will uh, find out a lot more about this game. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and have a great one.